Hello and welcome to another one of my quick vids. A couple of weeks ago on Facebook Marketplace I came across this MB Computer Battleships. It's something I've wanted for absolutely ages. I had the travel version when I was a kid and the little pegs that you'd put in the uh, you know, in the little ships um, and it would clip together and you could take it places. Um, but yeah, as a kid, computer battleships with sound and lights. Yeah, this sounded fantastic. This was up on Facebook Marketplace for no money, which was absolutely amazing. Um, got in touch and picked it up. So let's have a quick look at what's in the box. There's a, there's a little sticker here that uh, played Stowe Auctions. So yeah, I don't know exactly where that came from. Um, but yeah, apparently this was in the loft of uh, the house I picked it up from when the uh, when the current owners went up into the loft and started uh, started clearing out the full renovations. So here we are. Let's get rid of that. Get that out of the way, and then have a look at what the box contains. So that's our that's our upright, it's the middle of the playing field. We've got the manual which is uh, pretty awesome. I've got no idea how to use this yet. Um, we've got a little Wedgwood figure. No, we haven't. We've got the, <laughs> got the little pegs there. And I think this one's got the ships in, if I remember. But count with me now. We've got two of those. Where are they? Two of those. Two of those. And two of those, I think. I think I'm actually missing two more four peg ships. So I'll have to do my finding out, uh, work out if I need some more bits. I might cast, I might actually try casting, you know, copies of the uh, of those four peg ships. I'll do my finding out, see if we need some more ships. I think we're too short, but we might not be. So we'll see. We'll take that out of the way and that. And this is our play field. Stick this, we'll just stick this over here just for the time being so you get the full effect. Wonderful, so you, you know you can't see round it or anything, and uh, the only interaction you've got is there. I've got no idea how to use any of this, but uh, I kind of figure you set your grid positions as to your guess, fire, and uh, being able to work out where they are should, uh, should invoke a response on the, on the screen. It doesn't do anything when I switch it on. And uh, if I show you, just in here, you'll see why. Oh yeah, that was in here. I've got a funny feeling that that's not gonna work. Um, and no, it didn't when I tried it out. And also, if you can see, if you can see that, March 2003. Bearing in mind most batteries have got a shelf life of at least five years or so. Um, it was it was last played in roughly 2000. Who knows? Um, but yeah, you can see here that it takes two of those nine volt batteries. I think part of that connector is there. Um, but yeah, as you can see, the uh, battery connector is just a, a little bit worse for wear. So I've got two spares. So hopefully this one's going to be a quick fix. So yeah, really looking forward to this. Saw these around as a kid again, never had one, had the travel version. So I'm really looking forward to giving this a go. And so is Mrs. Retro Corner as well, because she was quite keen for us to pick one of these up as well. So really looking forward to this. So thank you again for joining me. Give us a thumbs up if you like this and I'll see you again in another video. Take care. Bye bye.